Uh, so how's everybody doing? This is Charles. I hope you all are maintaining on this quarantine. Hey, us reptile people, we're cool. It just gives us more time to go in the house and deal with our animals. And so I'm having a ball. I get to spend more quality time uh, with my reptiles and keeping my room uh, sanitized and making sure that everybody has water and it's clean. This is a perfect time uh, for us as reptile people. So don't let it get you down. Uh, uh, we're going to make it through this. We'll be cool and we'll be able to get back to our reptile shows and get back to our, our normal way of doing business. So don't let that get you down. Let's hang in here and, and, uh, and this quarantine can't hold us down. Uh, today I want to talk to you about my situation and how I keep snakes and you know really what I really have is a sophisticated meth lab meaning that my snakes are in the basement of my home in the winter time it's cold hard to keep humidity and in the summertime it's hot and I have to suck out the humidity and that can produce a hell of a situation uh, trying to uh, uh, breed um, and take proper care of uh, so many animals like I do and so I just wanted to I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who has to go through this and deal with this and so I want to maybe uh, help somebody else out who has to go through the same things and I've produced some beautiful animals uh, in this situation so don't let you because you don't have uh, a facility like mutation creation or always evolving Python or Justin or whoever <coughs> those are goals great goals to have you know but in our current, my current situation uh, I have to do a lot of different things and so some of the things that I have to do is like this plastic right here um, I can't heat the whole basement uh, the way that it needs to be heated for my reptiles so I run plastic over half the basement now I really have uh, more caging that I need to put in here um, but I will put it in during um, the summertime after I get a chance to insulate the walls a little better and make it a little bit better. I also use a humidifier and when I first started I really didn't understand uh, ambient temperature uh, to the degree that I understand it now and I used to get a lot of bad sheds and a lot of snakes stuck in sheds. Um, learning ambient temperature will save you a lot from having to do extra work uh, when it comes to the health of your snake. It also uh, uh, stop a lot of respiratory uh, and stuff and infections and things because you know how to keep the right temperature of your room. I also have to do uh, a heater. I run a heater all year long. Um, well, especially in the winter time. Uh, in the summertime, I don't, I don't have to run a heater. Actually, uh, in the, because this heater helps keep, my, again, my ambient temperature so that my my cages can, can keep a, a decent heat inside of them. Again, helping with my sheds. And in the uh, summertime, I have to run a humidifier because it, then it gets too hot. And I've learned, you know, in my situation that <coughs> that is very very important so I get some wonderful sheds uh, just this morning I opened up my champagne and she had her pre lay shed and I bred this girl and she's gonna be having some babies in about 30 days I should see some eggs out of her she had her pre lay shed this morning and I'm expecting to see some babies in about 30 days uh, I bred her to a leopard 100% hep pie and she is also Hepapide also, so I can't wait to see what those babies look like. Uh, this girl right here, she's already had her pre-lay shed also, and she is uh, an inchy, a 100% hep for pie, and I bred her to a inchy 100% hep pie because let me show you, I'm making some amazing things in this little hot basement of mine. 
I got this last year. Look at that. From a hat to a hat. And I only had four eggs and I got this was one of the eggs and I have I have the rest who are 100% hat uh, for pie. But look at or make, well, no, I make them 66% because it was a hat to a hat. But look at that. And I've been getting some wonderful things. I bred boas last year. Look at that. Look at the colors. Huh? I have a purple line of boas that I imported from Europe and they are making some amazing stuff for me. Mm-hmm. 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 So I say all that to say this. So I just wanted to inspire some small breeder like me who may not have the best um room. Might not have all the fancy equipment. This is just a makeshift put together uh, like a makeshift ship. <laughs> yeah, made planks and nails, but I'm still able to do some amazing things in this room. And so you are too, don't you? You just keep breeding. You keep taking care of the best of your animals as best you can. And don't worry about, you know, and one day, one day, you and I will have one of those fancy rooms with all the lights and shining bells and shiny floors. Until then, I think some of the small back town, small breeders are some of the best people in this reptile community because we really do it for the love and not for the money. Do it because we really love reptiles and I just love genes. I'm, I am a, I call myself a, a thug scientist. Yeah, well, that's one another time. All right, peace.